In this example, we've got a card game being shown with a young girl called Jessica in grade one. And you can see she's made this wonderful little game, which is involving the use of numbers. And she has 18 cards. You've got a 15 there. And what she's doing is trying to pair off the two numbers that fit together. And you'll see that she has to remember the location of the of the cards and obviously there's a certain amount of thought on the flip of the card and every time she flips it she sees the number and she's got to see how they relate and there you see what's really quite remarkable is that she's using the next consecutive number the one and then a two following so those two would then pair off on the basis of the one and the two following with each other and really quite interesting the neatness of her numbering is also quite astounding and purple mesh provides this wonderful game which can be tailor-made or customized for whatever grade and it is very very easy to publish even to share with other people there you've got the seven and the eight working together so wonderful to see young grade ones already engaging with purple mash making a learning tool and you can you, you can straight away see that their abilities would increase vastly when they have something that some of the numbers are quite large you've got a 16 which is i'm not sure if many of the grade ones would know exactly what a 16 is i think that yellow one is an 18. you probably would have noticed that green bar on the right hand side that is a time timer and it's a little bar that indicates how much time is left so we have a countdown and you have to try get all the pairs before the time limit expires the grade ones were very very excited about doing this some of them did pairing off animals and there were a whole range of very interesting games produced i'll try to publish as much as i can to show some of the wonderful work in this case, you've got a whole lot of animals that are going to fit into the card game and it's already been played. So we're pressing play again and you can see the shuffling. So every time you do play the game, the cards will be reshuffled. Our first choice, the two canaries and a badger. And the second card that's flipped is also a badger. But interestingly enough, those two cards are not going down to the bottom. They are not fitting together and he's clicking the badger and the badger again so what we have here is a reconsideration he still he thinks that those two cards ought to have gone together and we've got two flying insects we've got a butterfly and or is that a moth and a bee and let's see what fits with this one I, these two possibly no and we've got a badger going with one of the others. So it's a little bit unusual. The connection between those last four cards is not entirely clear. Let's have a look. One or two of those should fit together. So let's see. And he knew, I think he would have known that those two badges fitted together, but there's a indication from just looking at this that he realizes that those two were the more appropriate. In this particular case, we've got animals again, and you can see that was a Labrador and we've got a deer. It was wonderful to see how many learners did their own drawings. They, were, they felt it more appropriate to do their own drawings rather than just using the clip art that was found in Purple Mesh. But, you know, the clip art aspect comes in quite useful if you want to teach children about certain things. It helps hugely. And there you've got the two birds with the yellow and the green. And obviously you've got all this whole, this cognitive aspect that comes out every time that they would choose a card. They would have to identify what it is in their minds and see the relationship between the two objects that would pair off. Being the actual maker of the game means that they would know that certain cards fit together like that yellow and that green bird. An outsider might need to start studying the cards more thoroughly before knowing which two items pair off together. Anyway, a big thank you to all of you for watching this video. 
I sincerely hope that you have found it interesting. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and we urge you to support us in this venture of promoting coding and Purple Mash at Brian Evan Primary School.